What's up, guys? Today's video, we're going to be covering the best passing play, or the excuse me, the best passing route uh, in Madden NFL 16, guys. This route is something that you can have in any play. Uh, it comes purely from your hot routes, and in, in my opinion, it's the best route because it beats every coverage, and uh, that's the important part. But the play uh, is best ran from the bunch, and I don't know. I think the Patriots. We're in the Patriots playbook because they do have the bunch. It really makes a, a really nice play when you're talking Patriots and in, in, in that. Um, but the play is, uh, it doesn't really matter what play we use. Uh, for this specific video, uh, we're going to use the play, let's uh, see, we're going to use the play Mesh, uh, just because it gives us better routes, just to show this, okay? Now, Hot Route, it's always good to note your quick audible. So here we have Spacing, Halfback, Mid Draw, Path for its PA Post, PA Post being one of my favorite passing plays of all time but anyway it's very simple um it's it's literally so simple and, and it, it's but it's so good all we're going to do here is place the x receiver on a hitch pattern you do this by hitting triangle x r2 that's the route that you want okay and what you're going to do is you want to when you snap the ball you want to hold the left trigger that's going to in instigate a low passing trajectory so you're going to hold that L trigger down, and you're just going to throw that ball as soon as he turns, and you see that Aaron Dobson's going to make a nice catch uh, against the cover four zone. So that's cover four. Now we'll show you cover three. So that's cover four. Here's cover three. Another low passing mechanic. And um, and actually what I want to, you know, what may even be better is what we can, the cool part is you can use a lot of motion here. But uh, what may be better is to go, and we we may not, let's actually do this from PA Post. And let's put Edelman on the on the hitch pattern instead of Dobson. Okay, let's do that. Reason being is because um, this is going to give us a better, um, this is going to be a nice, a, a little better passing concept. So we'll use, we'll use it, and, and I'll explain why in a moment. But there you see it against the cover four, it still works, it's the same thing. Okay, it's just to a different player. The reason we're going to go to Edelman is because Dobson's route is going to stretch the defense vertically to provide even more of a lane to hit Edelman underneath. And then we can obviously throw Blunt on a on a on a streak and use him as a zone release as well. So that's cover four and cover three. Here's cover two. I want to show you cover two, and uh, that's really where it's most important that you have that vertical stretch to kind of pull those yellow zones deeper um, so that they go on in that thing. Um, but, um, anyway, so that's, so that's that, and then we'll show you man here in a second. So we'll go with just basic two man under. Throw out on that hitch pattern. Again, you're holding L trigger. It's important that you get that low passing trajectory. And you just hit him in there, you see. I mean, even Richard Sherman can't compete. Uh, Anyway, so there, so there's that. Um, but like I said, you know, you can do this from any any play. You know, we'll look at Pat's verticals, and you can do Pat's verticals as well. Pat's verticals may even be the best option because Gronk's going to turn up field, um, and it's a, a really good stretch. And there you see against cover four, it's it's just really simple. Um, oh, and then I wanted to show you too, zone, uh, man blitz. So against man blitz, same same route. You're just putting you on a hitch pattern, and you just throw it low. So. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that that's it. I mean it's it's a hitch route, and, and for me, uh, it's it's really good uh, in my opinion. Now, you know there's obviously things you can do to stop it. They can user it, but the cool part is when you have a route like this that is so difficult to guard, um, and they try to user it. So what they would have to do is they'd be in a cover three and they'd have to play underneath coverage for sure, and then they'd also have to spotlight Edelman, and then they you know to simulate a user defender we're going to put Bennett on him. They'll bring the safety over to kind of you know user that because most you know most of them user the safety, and this is just to illustrate a point. But we're going to just show you when they're focusing all their attention on Edelman's route, it's going to leave them vulnerable. And of course, we obviously didn't get a chance to throw the freaking ball. It pisses me off. But um, what's going to happen is they're going to be vulnerable over the top because the, most people like to use the safety and so uh... But what's going to happen what you'll see here is that dobson 
is now going to be able to really stretch the defense vertically, and you're going to be able to hit him over the top deep when they take away, when they start focusing so much underneath coverage. Uh, but as long as they're going to give you this hitch route, um, it's very effective. Um, and it can beat every defense in the game. And it could even, I mean, it's hard. I mean, they have to use her that route. Um, and it's, it's it, you know, it, it may not be the, you know, the most effective in terms of big yardage and things, but in my opinion, it's the most consistent round of the game, and it is very hard to stop, um, especially in man coverage. Uh, it's you have to you have to use it. Um, in my opinion, it's also really good under center. So uh, we'll show you here, and it doesn't have to be from a bunch. I mean, here we're going to show you it out of a single back normal, and watch what happens. So what I'm going to do here is just to illustrate the point. I'm going to take Gronk, or excuse me, I'm going to take Amendola put him on like a comeback route, and then I'm going to take Dobson and put him on that hitch pattern. And it's just a snap throw, pass lead in, and, and, and easily effective. You know, very simple. Uh, and so you're going to get upfield. Now, uh, when you throw it from under center, you also, in, in the same thing a lot with this year's game, is you have to be aware that your quarterback, you have to stop the auto drop back. So slide to the left and then throw that L2 pass. Like I said, he's going to drop back, and you want him to step up and throw it. So what I like to do uh, when I'm throwing this when I'm throwing this pattern, um, so here we'll show you how to wide trips, but if we were just to run like stick, and so what I like to do is streak Gronk, Edelman on a smoke screen to get a flat zone, and then throw to Dobson. What I like to do is I like to throw a quick pass because it's going to give me a three-step drop, three steps drops are going to let me get the ball to my hands quicker. So here, three step drop and then throw your hitch route. And very simple. So that, this, in my opinion, is the best route in Madden NFL 16. Uh, I know there's other routes in this in this game that are kind of more unique, but I think this is very simple. Something you can do today today that is really going to uh, really going to help uh, your game. So so that's what we've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to go more in depth with offense in this game, you can check out our defensive e or our offensive e guide um, in the description below. It's pretty cheap. Breaks down the Arizona.